down the street? Do I? Do you? <laughs> but you thought that I was trying to tell you, like, ugh, get away. And I was saying, I got to keep walking, meaning walk with me. <laughs> and he just, like, kept going. Like, so how long have you been modeling? Wow. Let me see. I've been modeling since I was around 15 years old. 15, so for a long time. Yeah. And you were discovered on YouTube? Yeah, it's kind of funny how that started. What happened was somebody, you know, they were like, you know, how tall are you? I'm like, I'm 5'11". <laughs> I'm 5'11". And he's like, well, you know what? You can be really, really big. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, I mean, in modeling. I'm like, okay, me, a model, like, how can this possibly be? And, and tell, tell us why that was so odd for you to hear that you should be a model and, and take pictures and be considered this physical specimen that is, you know, an interesting thing. Because when you were growing up, you grew up with a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. tell, tell us about that. And by the way, Sean and DeAndre are both African American. Um, so tell us. You know, ooh, everybody's like, wow, <laughs> very interesting. Okay, so explain some of the, the pain that you went through as a child, because I thought it was pretty interesting. I didn't know this about you. Well, um, it was kind of rough growing up for the simple fact that I was the. I, I grew up in the Bronx. And you know, I was the only child that, I was the only light-skinned child, not alone with albinism, I was the only light-skinned child out of a school of 600 African-American Hispanic kids. Wow. So it was almost like being Caucasian, the only Caucasian inside of an all-black school. Tell me what happened um, uh, in the seventh grade. Oh, wow. Well, when I was in the seventh grade, um, I used to like get antagonized a lot. And there was this boy one day, and I was, um, what happened was he was calling me names, and we got sent down to a detention room. And, and I'm like, okay, so you didn't notice, obviously, because we're in the detention room, that means that we did something, you know, wrong. So we're in the detention room, and, you know, he starts antagonizing me again. He starts calling me powder, white, bread, paper, all these things. And I'm like, you don't ignore him, because at that time, you know, I always tell people I had to mature faster than an average child. Mm -hmm. Because if you did not mature faster than an average child, who knows what could end up happening? I could end up doing who knows what, mm -hmm. you know? So I say, I said to him, you know, well, whatever, who cares? He gets up and I get up and then he says something to me, he pushes me, all of a sudden I feel something go on my back. And he takes the pen and he stabs me six times on my back. <gasps> and um, each room was six inches deep. What? It was and that deep? Eight, six inches deep. Six <clears throat> inches into your back? Deep? Six times six inches deep. And I remember actually like, I remember actually taking, like, because the last time when the teacher got him off, I remember the pen being stuck in me, and I'm taking it out of me. And I didn't feel it because I'm so shocked. And I just remember, like, going to the doctor's office and getting antibiotics and him physically taking the needle and sticking it in each wound, you know? And I was in the seventh grade, you know what I'm saying? I'm just walking in the street with, like, a bloody shirt. Oh, wow. So how do you go from there to being now strong man modeling in demand done so many he's done so many amazing photo shoots his work is some of the most beautiful male model work I've ever seen thank you so how do you go from being such a victim to now doing this well you know what I put it this way it's just like anybody you can be black you can be white you can be fat you can be skinny if it's you you learn how to work around that area you don't let no one tell you no different and you let you just you, you're yourself no one can sit there and tell you, you know, you're bad, you look different, and this and that. You know what? If I know that I'm going to sit there and I'm going to have a big left leg, well, you know what? I'm going to make that leg look like it's from a Givenchy ad. That's what I say. Work it. <laughs> work with what you got. 